Let's see how to find the second derivative for this equation, 9x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. We can see that the y is not isolated, so we can use the implicit differentiation. Let's look at this equation and then put d dx across. To represent that, we are going to take the derivative with respect to x. And we have to remember y is a function of x. Okay, to begin, 9x squared, you just do the power rule, so the derivative of that is going to be 18x. And then to take the derivative of uh, y to the second power, you bring the 2 to the front, so plus 2y. But then y is a function of x, so we, have, we will have to multiply by the derivative y, namely y prime. We can put dy dx. And that will be equals to the derivative of 9, which is 0. And this is pretty much it. But let's isolate the y prime. To do that, we can just bring the 18x to the right-hand side. Here we have 2y times y prime. That will give us negative 18x. And we can also divide by 2y on both sides. This way, the 2y cancels. And I get y prime is equal to negative 9xy. So negative 9 on the top over negative 9x on the top over y on the bottom. Just like that. This is my first derivative. And then to get the second derivative, we will have to look at the first derivative and then take the derivative again. So um, let me write down right here. y prime, we know this is negative 9x over y. And I will put d dx again to represent we are going to get the second derivative. So this right here is exactly the y double prime that we are going to get. This will be here. It's a quotient, negative 9x over y. So we have to use the quotient rule. That's square the denominator first. We have y squared on the bottom. And then the quotient says, I'm going to write down the bottom function, which is y, and multiply by the derivative of the top. And the derivative of negative 9x is negative 9. OK. And then we are going to subtract the top function, which is negative 9x, times the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of y is y prime. The derivative of y is y prime. And as we can see, a few things that we can simplify. Perhaps let me write down the y squared on the bottom again. And then for this part on the top, we have negative 9y. And then this is negative negative, so it becomes plus 9x. However, for y prime, if we look back here, our expression at the end should be just with x and y. y prime is the same as negative 9x over y. So we are going to take this to replace that. Okay, we're replacing this with that. So I will put this back, negative 9x over y, just like this. And as you can see, after we do that, we are going to get a complex fraction. So we are going to look at the denominator of the small fraction, and we only have y. We are going to multiply the top and bottom by the y. So this way, we don't need to deal with the uh, complex fraction anymore. As usual, let's multiply this into the parentheses. And on the top here, I'm going to have negative 9y squared. OK, y times y here is y squared. This is 9 times 9, which gives us the negative 81. And then x times x is equal to x squared. Y times the 1 over y right here, they cancel each other out. So no more complex fractions, you can see. Over the denominator, which is y squared times y, and that's y to the third power. What can we do on top? We'll take a look. Both of these have negative, and both of these have 9. 81 have a factor of 9. So I can factor out a negative 9. I will do that. So I'll put this right here, negative 9. And here, I will end up with y squared. Originally, I had a minus, but I factor out a negative, so it becomes a plus. I factor, out a ne I factor out a 9, so the 81 becomes a 9. And then the x squared is still the x squared. Okay. And let's focus this part. This is negative 9 on the top. And the parentheses here, this is 
Let me rewrite the word, okay? Let me rewrite this as 9x squared plus y squared. And of course, I can change order of addition, which it doesn't matter, right? Over y to the third power. And the reason that I do that is because this part now, 9x squared plus y squared, if we refer back to the very beginning, 9x squared plus y squared, it's equal to the number 9. So this right here, all the way from the beginning, we know it has to be equal to 9. So what we're saying is we have negative 9 times 9, and that's negative 81. So I'll just kind of disappear from the camera, doesn't really matter. Negative 9 times 9, times 9, that's negative 81 over y to the third power. And this right here is the second derivative that we want. That's it.